more advanced than some of the others. As I mentioned in my post, none of the regular posters that I respect that do these assignments have posted any of these steps, so we should all be very proud of ourselves for mastering this. What you need to do is exactly what I'm doing. You know how to do the name, date, all of those things. What is going to be key about this particular portion of the assignment, because it's, it's, it's pretty easy, there's one thing that we might all overlook, and I'm going to show you that now even though I didn't finish my date and everything. Change the font to Bookman Old Style by selecting that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's do this. So when you so when you've made the changes and entered your name and date, etc., hold down the shift key, grab all your sheets, select line one, make sure you change the font to Bookman old style and it will change it on all of them. It didn't say to change the size or the color, which I can't stand. Do that and save it. Now here comes the tricky part. When you say file, save as, you need to click browse. Make sure that it goes into the folder where the other things that you've saved are. That's not the tricky part. The tricky part is it's not a workbook. It's a template. So you need to pull down here and find template. Oh, got to navigate back again. And you can see I've already saved it there. Just make sure that it is as a template. Click Save. And close. I forgot one part. If you go down to instruction 17, it says in the salesperson worksheet, enter $10,000 for each month and projected increase of 1.2. So, and it says to verify formulas, let's do control tilde, get formula view, and there are the formulas. Notice how they have named salesperson. That's a great idea. It goes right back to naming cells and naming ranges, which is exactly what we should have done in the last assignment, but it's not the way we were directed to do it. That is one of the professional formatting things I would have chosen to do, but we're on the portion where we... Uh, do it exactly according to the textbook. So we'll control tilde, get back to regular view, and now it wants us to enter $10,000 for each month. So if you go here and say 10,000, whoops. Oh. Okay, so. Make sure you're on the salesperson sheet. Enter $10,000 here. Click out. Click back and fill down. Projected increase. It tells you to put in 1.20. Again, this is not correct. It's not formatted as a percentage, and those are not formatted as accounting, so we need to fix that, and that is like Professor, Professor Bushnell's Professional forming, Formatting Guidelines Worksheet, so that needs to be done. Fill it down. Change the formatting. So we're going to save it as ELS test since we made that document from the template. It, this is going to be a workbook. Save it in the folder where we have the other documents.